I'll tell you who's going to be really jealous about this. South for seen through glass. Oh, we, yeah. Let's do our smug face. Hello, one and all. <laughs> what is up, guys? Welcome to Supercars of London. Welcome to my 24 hours in the UK. I arrived back from Germany last night, and I've actually got a flight to Munich at 9 a.m. tomorrow. Now, I was going to sit down in my living room and do a video chatting one-to-one -one with you guys about how the Mercy Lago hunt is coming along until I got a message from a friend of mine. You may remember some of the videos uh, back in Monaco. I was in a beautiful F12. He is also very well known for having an LP570 with a Quicksilver exhaust really back in the day if you're an early subscriber to supercars of london you'll remember that however mash from bell classics messaged me you can find him on the fast guy on instagram and said screw your exhaust expert i have got the car that is going to blow your eardrums your eardrums and basically get 10 out of 10 flames and here he is mass what is up hi Paul. welcome to the supercars of london youtube <laughs> channel this is the first time that you've appeared on my channel it's spontaneous. so spontaneous 24 hours in the yeah. uk and you've bought this well yeah now, what is this? It's well, a Ferrari in my eyes, but you it have is told me that it is much, much more special than that. Yeah, so it is special. It is really something. It's a 1970 uh, Ferrari Daytona 365. It's an early car, plexi car. For, the, for those of you that know, it's, it's the nicer, more sought after car. And let's put it this way. Someone bought this car. His name was Aldo Cudone. He was a mad collector. He was an industrialist in Italy and he took it to Giuliano Michelotto. Now, Giuliano was a bit like what you would call Brabus today. I know right? the name Michelotto because he did an F40. Right? There you go, yeah. right. So when we're talking that, we know straight away F40 and all the Ferrari race cars, 308s, etc. So this guy went to him and said, listen, Giuliano, I need you to make me a race car like a Daytona competition. Daytona competition, there's only 15 real, real cars and then there is conversions, I believe about eight of them. Now, the real car would cost about somewhere around five to eight million euros Whew. so what happened here is he went and the ferrari themselves sanctioned it a bit like tailor-made okay the f12 was yeah. tailor-made so yeah. it was called Fer ferrari assistenza clienti ah. he went to the head of that at the time and said listen his name was i believe gaetano florini i need the car to be sanctioned as a comp car they went to michelotto and this is what came out of it <laughs> and the best way to put it is is just annihilation <laughs> obnoxious <laughs> It's, it's just amazing in, in, in all respects. This was a road car. You have to understand it's not a race car. This is a and, race and I'm sure that the viewers will see after. This yeah. is something you, you cannot experience elsewhere. <laughs> this is visceral. This goes right to your backbone. You know, you're looking for Murcielago, right? Yeah. I had a Murcielago, as you know. Yes, you did. This is the next level. This is when you say, you know what? The Murcielago is too soft. The Murcielago is <laughs> like the, the car I take my puppy in, I okay, take my child so, yeah. in. When, when, I become, when my Murcielago becomes my daily, yeah. that becomes the yeah. weekend car. When your Murcielago becomes obsolete in your senses, <laughs> yeah, okay. that's what it is. Oh God, I mean, if that day ever comes, then I'm going to be worried for myself. <laughs> I, I but hope they're ready for this. I think the next 10 minutes or so is just going to be mind bending because now you said that you were going to come and get me in 20 minutes, you yeah. turned up, you called me, as I was getting my camera set up in my living room to do this video. Yeah. And I could hear the car coming and I was like, that can't be it. And it just progressively got closer and closer and closer. And then you called me and I could just hear the engine and then you go, Paul, I'm here. <laughs> I was going through looking at the children, looking at the mothers, thinking of my wife, throwing shoes at me, saying, you, you, you lottery winner, you. Uh, specification, it's a V12. Uh, produces somewhere around 450 horsepower. Um, straight pipes and uh, what can I say? Like, if there is more visceral than this, send us a message. But I don't think you're gonna find <laughs> yeah. it. Well, I mean, yeah. you said that this is gonna blow eardrums on exhaust expert. Yeah. I'm here to do an exhaust yeah. expert. But you, you know what? The type of person that drives this needs to be ready to be sort of deaf by about 50, 60, in my opinion. <laughs> Here's what it is, but hey, Lexan windows that shake. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm going to jump in the passenger oh, seat. Wait, oh, wait, by the way, go I on. need to add something. There's just casually the fuel cell behind us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Would that pass regulations these days? Minus the, the race specification as we have here, all the service package, fuel pumps, fuel <laughs> tanks. Yeah. Let's ride. Let's ride. Oh my God. I'm not stood here when it started up. We are in! Mass 
is steering the ship. Go Greg, five speed. Yeah, five uh, speed. One, two, three, four, five. Five speed. Five speed. Now myself and Mass, we go back since around 2014. That's about right. You were on John Olsen's team on Gumball 3000. Yeah. I was driving my Iron Man R8 left. Yeah, my man. So we've known each other since then. Yeah. Are we in 
Are we in fifth gear? We're in fifth. We're in fifth gear. And I think maybe now you can hear us a little bit more. I mean, what a way to spend a Wednesday afternoon. Completely off the cuff. There are, there are a few people that I would accept for them to come and pick me up if they were going to surprise me because I knew that it was going to be cool. And Mass is one of them. His car history oh, is just outrageous. And we've done, we've had some fun in the F12 in Monaco. I remember when we drifted on Fairmont? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've still got the clip on my iPhone. So I'm going to try and put it in. Watch this clip of me and Mass and Fairmont in Monaco. Oh my god. Perfect. Just just listen to the noise or the lack of it when you turn it off. Oh my. <laughs> Silence has never been so silent. So the question is, how are your eardrums? Just about intact. Yeah. What about yours? Oh mine have were gone a long time ago. <laughs> I mean, Mass has piloted the rebellion on Gumball 3000. Two you, times. Two times. Monaco, <laughs> Edinburgh. Look how hot I am. <laughs> so yeah, Monaco, Edinburgh. I left Monaco at midday, arrived in Edinburgh next day in the AM. Did it all in one go. Second time, I left Monaco at 1 AM. Twiga, remember I took you Twiga? Yeah. I left Twiga at 1 a.m. and I went straight to Stockholm. Starts pissing rain and I don't have a wiper. <laughs> and I have no wind. Oh yeah, you're in the rebellion and then yeah. John was in the R8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my God. Like if there is one man that is crazy in terms of the way that you drive, it's this guy. I mean, and I don't, I don't actually know what to say because I think it's fairly obvious on my channel that I don't tend to cover classics. I'll tell you who's going to be really jealous about this. Saf, we're seeing through glass. Oh, yeah. Let's do our smug face. Hello, one and all. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, what do you think? I've done my first video on a classic car and there'll be more to come when I pick up the Murcielago. Would you say it's a classic or not? Not yet. Yeah, it's getting there. Okay, it's getting there. It's getting there. So I'm going to be a classic car owner soon. Well, yeah. <laughs> Are you going to get a nice tweed jacket? Yeah. 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 Get some leather, leather gloves as well. <laughs> and I'll be cruising around. <laughs> we can do some runs. You Absolutely. can bring this and then we can do a rev battle. 100%. My LP640 versus the uh, Daytona Michelotta. Mass, you have been absolutely incredible. This has been arguably some of the best 20 minutes that I've experienced in 2018 and definitely 2017. I'm well relaxed right now, you know? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just... Therapeutic. I'm just <laughs> off camera venting myself <laughs> mad the sweat patches in your suit. That is baller. <laughs> We're wearing a suit, driving that car. The epitome of a gentleman, some would say. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Head in the description below so you can check out Mass on Instagram. And I will see you guys in Germany in the next 24 hours as I team up with Audi Sport, Archie Hamilton, Queen Bee, and a few R8s, which is going to be a completely different experience to that. I will see you soon, guys. Take care. Goodbye.